In the distant future, where Earth has become inhabitable, scientists have discovered an interdimensional portal that leads to a world similar to the late Cretaceous. Realizing this, groups of pioneers have endeavored to rebuild society amidst the dangerous world of dinosaurs. Survive against wild creatures, fight off rival factions, and ultimately ascend Earth in a spaceship. This is Terra Nova. There we go, a little storyline for the start. Okay, let's stop. So let's see, animals, do we have any animals? Oh, we have a fish! Uh, we have a pet fish! Okay, we, we started off with a fish, okay. So I think we are gonna set up camp here. Oh, this this place is, uh, let's see, this place has a bit of fertile land. And there, it, it's also surrounded with three mountains to each side. So it's gonna make for a decent natural defense. So yes, when, so we also need to keep, with the, one of the crucial parts of this game is, because we're essentially telling these people what to do, it's different from Minecraft and Ark, where we, where we can directly control the guy. We can, but like, uh, if you don't take care of its men mental state, the people will go insane too in this game. Build the house. Oh! Oh! Megal and Hydrus is hunting the Lystrosaur. Oh, it killed the Lystrosaur. Oh! Killed it. We can kind of see them getting to work. Right, there we go. Campfire. Make the bed. Exactly. There you go. Beautiful. Right, now they finally built a house. The production. So we can, let's see. So we can, let's get a butcher table. We want, uh, but a buttering is, it's, cut, it, it's, it's a very messy job. So we want this to be separate in a different area. Do it like this. Let's make a wooden door here. Let's go ahead. Let's get a fuel stove. And we're also going to give them a little bit of a chair. Because if you actually give them a chair, it's going to make production and stuff a bit faster. Stone cutters table too. If you want to make buildings, uh, buildings out of stone. Because wood catches fire, you know. <gasps> Animal starvation. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and slaughter this. Oh, actually, let's don't. We, we're just going to let him die naturally. We got a freaking fish to start with. That's terrible. <laughs> What's gonna be a fish gonna be useful for? Let's take this Lystrosaur that the otter killed. Megalohydrus. Let's go ahead and carry this guy all the way inside. Right, look at look at she, look at her go! Butchering up the Lystrosaur. <laughs> Scavenging at its finest. Right, there we go, some meat. You guys can cook that and create some simple meals. We also farm that. Disease. Fibrous me mechanites. semi core mechanics which develop fibrous links and muscle tissue. They enhance the victim's strength but also cause intense pain. Mutated strain of strength enhancing mechanites. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I don't know, like, bionic enhancements breaking down, perhaps, I think? Oh, our red snapper has died, right. Let's see. Yes, it finally starved, right, which we, then now we can we will allow it and Buck can now hold down the dead fish <laughs> Right the stupid fish that we spawn with we, we're gonna cook it up <laughs> Light heal root. Oh Some blight. Okay, that's not good. It's like a disease. Oh It's all oh, it's all oh no No, it has all it got it, Got blight and all the stuff withered away. That's bad. Aww. Right. I mean, it's better never than now, but still, if I had to pick a timing, we literally just planted it, so yeah, it's not the that's not the exactly the worst case scenario. Because this game can hit you hard. Like you, you can be completely fine the next day, uh, one day, and next day you can be a swamp with an with a pack of ravaging carnosaurs. So yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else we have to do. So we have the basic camps get going. We got some steel. So we actually might want to start working on a wall. Right, let them build the wall. We have loads of metal to use us with as well. So let's see, power. So let's get a wind turbine as well. So wind turbines are super important. They always place down two wind turbines. Okay, so now let's well the yeah let's build the wall first. And then I think we should we can actually start building making prisoner camps. Actually, no, we should start working on the prisoner camps now because 
We never know when we might get raided. Right. And we want those extra... We want that extra manpower. You really do. Especially in this game. So... Let's create a little prison cell over here. A little bed, a little house. So when, when we capture a guy, the guy can be kidnapped to this area. Oh, Fisher started a social fight with Sergey. Flagrantly insulted Fisher's leg hair. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't want to talk. We don't, You don't want to insult someone about their leg hair. You really don't want to do that. <laughs> let's see. We Let's give our faction a name. Right. So let's give our faction a name and what should we name it? Why not? There we go. Turnova and Angkor. Right. Let's see how long the settlement can last before it eventually all comes t comes tumbling down. <laughs> right, okay, there we go. A metal wall is built. Oh, a metal wall is completely built. Right, that's good. Right. Oh, is it, is it again? Is it again blighted? Oh my god, seriously? Oh, oh my god, those idiots! They're literally replanting things after they're cutting down the blight! Are you, are you kidding me, you idiots? That's why the blight is not going away! Don't grow! Oh my god. Stop growing! You're literally like you're you cutting away the blight and you're planting the plant right next to it So it immediately gets affected with the blight right afterwards Like are you stupid? Cut away all the blight then plant idiots <laughs> See see they literally got blighted again those dumb idiots Right, go cut this blight. Oh my god. Right, no, no, cut that as well. Yeah, go cut this. No, cut this too. <laughs> do we really have to make say do this, do that? Seriously? Where is the needs? Spacious interior. Oh shit, fire. Where, where, where? Oh! There's a fire in the circuit! Fire in the circuit! No! It's, no, it's gonna burn! Right. Save the crops! Save the crops! Woo! That was close. Right. Right. Okay, so. Let's see. We don't have any animals. So, my plan here is actually to tame a male and a female Pistachosaurus. That way, we can kind of get a breeding pair going. Tame the taco! Bro, it's gonna be more useful than the fish that we got at the start. <laughs> so, yeah, give him some give him some nuts or berries. Maybe that'll convince him. So we are low on food, and we do need batteries. Because we are making a loads of wind. Right, blocked by monkey puzzle tree. Oh, there's a Oh, there's a bit, a bit of yeah, you, you, you don't want stuff in this place. Behind the wind turbines. Because if you if something blocks the wind turbine, it becomes inc incredibly inefficient. See? This guy has nothing behind it, so it can produce max power. A wild man wanders in. A person living among wild animals have wandered into the area. He's called Stin. A wild man! Okay. He's- Oh, he's an excellent cook! He's a master chef! Okay. Right, you go ahead and arrest him. Right, thank god we have a prisoner bet right here for Stin. Right. So let's see if we can, if we can convince Stin to, uh, you know, join our little tribe. Buck is escorting Stin. To his new thing. So let's see, you are our prisoner. We have a little taco. Can we name him? Oh yeah, we can, na we can name him. Right. Tuco Taco. Oh, what is that? Oh, this Tachosaurus eggs. Eggs. These are unfertilized Pistachosaurus eggs. We can use that for food. A police woman named Nelly is crashing in a transport pot nearby. If she survives the impact, she'll be badly wounded. Right, let's see. Oh. Right, let's see. Bleeding out in eight hours. Intellectual, social, shooting. Okay, right. Skyla, uh, go ahead and rescue you. Mm. Nelly joins, right? Nelly's thankful that you rescued her. She had decided that she would rather stay than leave and is joining your colony. Welcome, Nelly! Right, Nelly, Nelly! Right, you don't want to be, you don't want that. All right, let's see. So, what do you, what are you good for? 
You're great with shooting melee and she's great with social. She's also a fast learner, so she has a good potential for to be the next big sniper. Oh, there's a Gallimimus. We could tame. Male, two male Gallimimuses. They're great for moving around. There's Kentrosauruses too. Nelly has five when it comes to animals. I think the taco is not a is not an advanced animal to begin with, so perhaps Nelly can just tame it. Oh, you interacted with it too recently. All right, you, you are already you are already on the way to taming it. Right. Oh, there's more taco eggs. Right. Oh, Haprasukas is hunting Skyla. Where's Skyla? All right, she's there. Right. Where's Fisher? She's over there. Nelly, she's over there. Bro, draft. Nelly, go here. Fisher, go here. Bro, we're going. We have to hunt the Capro. Right. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Shoot him. Shoot the Capro. There we go. We got hit. It hit him. Right. Hit the cap, bro. Right, let's have her slightly move backwards. Yes. Dodge, dodge the attacks, dodge the attacks, dodge the attacks. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Right. Now, finish it off. There we go, now it's dead. Right, we got Taco and this guy as well, right. What should we name the Taco, this guy? Tuko Taco and Tika Taco. <laughs> right, she is- Oh, she did breed! Oh, she already did mate! When did I- when did they- when did, when did they do two have a little affair? She's- she already has a fertilized egg in her, right. I didn't even know that she did that. Right. Oh! Mega Sloth, that's a Megatherium. So fun fact, the Mega Sloth, which is technically the Mega Therium, is actually a vanilla uh, vanilla mob. I did not remove the Mega Sloth. It's one of the few creatures that I actually did not remove. Because it is literally supposed to be a Mega Therium. The needs. Right, there we go. Impressive dining room, impressive rec room. Right, intended party. Right, there we go. So now we have uh, loads of good beneficial buffs. Now that we've got roses instead of rice plants. New recruit, Stin! There we go. Stin is ready to go. Right. Right, that's great because now Max can no Max because Stin right now the one that we got has insane good cooking, so we don't actually need want Max anymore to be the main main chef now. You are the first guy, and you don't actually even have to cook anymore. He's a gore man, which means his life revolves around food. I mean, he's a caveman. What did you expect, Lafo? <laughs> so we are going to be making a trap zone, trap box, a hunting box per se for the people. That try to raid our base. So this is something that we, that's it's essentially like a taming pen for Ark, kind of like abusing the how the AI works in this game. So they they see this gate and they're gonna the the AI is gonna be like, oh wait, you know we don't uh, you know what there is an opening inside. We don't we don't have to pass through the gate. So they are gonna be passing through this into this little S shaped curve because they just couldn't be bothered to open this one certain gate. So they're gonna go all the way around this and they're gonna think that that's the way. That's the best way to get through the base. But what they don't know is that we will be placing traps. Spike traps, exactly. All around the base. So, in instead of trying to get the easy way out, which is, a is a which is a pathway without any traps, and they just have to break through the gates, but the AI is stupid, so that he doesn't do that, and instead tries to go with the... The long way around, which is the one, the path without any gates in the way, but it's filled with spike traps. So how is- Oh yes, we did! We did lay Pistachosaurus eggs, right. They will hatch in three days. Right, so we can expect to see some baby Tuco Tacos pretty soon. What is this? A group of Hypsilophodon. Abandoned or lost have wandered into this area. They seem accustomed to human content and are joining the colony. What? Wait, how many of them are there? Oh wow, what the hell? We got 10 Ipsilophodons? That's crazy! Oh! 
But oh, one died. One died immediately. Okay, the Capro got one of them. Uh, it's okay. We got 10, 10 free Hypsilophodons. That's crazy. All right. All of you guys, get inside. It has an Arterage blockage. It has a bad back and dementia. Holy crap. You're, it's a 26-year-old Hypsilophodon. Okay, 26-year-old Hypsilophodon. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very old Hypsilophodon right there. Right, okay, we made a gal- we tamed the Gallimimus, that's great. Right, we have the Uharasaurus. One Uharasaurus, let's go ahead and try and hunt this guy. Let's see. Hunt! There we go. Shoot! Shoot the Uharasaurus! It's running away, but it's- it's- it's in the beach! Right, unless it's gonna swim away, we're gonna- we can easily shoot it down. Take a step back. We don't want this guy to get aggroed. There we go. Another shot. Right. Crack the animal. Oh, we actually hit him. Nice. I didn't even think that it would the hitbox would be this big. Shoot him. Ah, damn it. Running pretty far away. Let's see. It is bleeding out. It bleeds out in seven hours, but we might we might want to hurry up. Because I don't want the scavengers getting to it first. There we go. Dead Uharasaurus. Right. And the people in this game are incredibly powerful. They can just lift up an entire O'Hara source and just take it back to base. <laughs> right, so what is the... Okay, we still need loads of wood because we need we need to finish our traps, right? Nelly got another Gallimimus. So they are both males, right? Yeah, that's a male Gallimimus. That's also a male Gallimimus. So let's go ahead to the world. Right, let's go ahead and check out the dinosaur nesting site, shall we? Oh, wait, hold up. They seem to have a few items trade. Oh, we got some traders, right. Sure, let's sell the taco eggs to get a bit of extra silver. And plus, if we trade with them, they're gonna their relations with us are gonna improve, so it's totally worth it. The pack of manhunting Yinlong have entered the area. Driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. They roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. Right. Oh damn! Talk about the plague of madness. Right, yeah, the scary is essentially the plague of madness from Primal. They will go ahead and kill all the people they see. Even if it's a herbivore, so... Yeah, I mean, that's why we have traps! I mean, it's a great way to see if the traps work. Oh, there we go! There we go! Two traps. Oh yeah, the traitors! The traitors! The traitors! The traitors are doing us a favor! They're, they're taking down the Yinlong for us! Wow, they, they really made quick work out of these Yinlongs, huh? See, the dinosaur nesting site. Let's see, let's hope... That the mama and papas won't be too mad. Right, here we go. So what dinosaurs do we have that we can make use of? There's the Morphodon. There's Camarasaurus. We have Arthropleura. Where are the eggs? That is the question. Oh, there it is. There is a small nest. There's nothing inside though. Now the caravan is gonna head back home with absolutely nothing. Oh, exotic goods trader! What do we have? Oh, they got beetles! They also got a riding. They also ride on a Dinopithecus. They, oh, they, they sell that. It costs one thousand dollars. One thousand and two hundred dollars for a Dinopithecus. Is it- is it good? It's an advanced! It's advanced- it's, it's an advanced creature, yeah, so it's- It's a very good tame. It's a very good tame. Do we sell the other Gallimimus? They're both males, so it's kinda useless. We can sell all of our food and one Gallimimus in exchange for one Dinopithecus. Let's do that. Let's name you... I don't know, Caesar? 
Is it because isn't that the name from the one monk in the in the ape movie kind of thing? Isn't that wasn't that the name leader guy? But we can even train it to haul and like uh and rescue stuff for us. So yeah, that, that's gonna be a great help. The Dinopithecus will help us out a lot. Oh, there's a baby! It's a it's a mama and a child. Okay, well, okay, this makes no sense. Why is the neck behind this present? Okay, that that that's kind of weird. All right. <laughs> Whispering to himself about the morality of wealth. Yeah, that, that's gonna definitely impress this Ruthie. So I think uh we are gonna wrap it up. It's 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 we have we started off with five. We have two new people to do, that join our colony: Stin the cook and Nelly the goat rifler. And I think, yeah, we got a decent thing going on. We have a decent caravan. We got a Dinopithecus from it. Can we ride it, though? Yeah! <laughs> look, look at him go! Look at the Megapithecus go! It's monkey time! Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's gonna be it. So, humans and dinosaurs. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. Tell me how you enjoyed RimWorld. I am enjoying it immensely. I'm not so sure how you guys would enjoy it though. So it, it's a it's a survival simulator. It's a colony simulator. So it's a it's a bit of a if it's a different beast than a regular dinosaur survival game. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's gonna be it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll tell you next time. May the Jurassic Spirit with you. Bye bye. Yeah.